What is up everybody? Welcome back. It is Monday, which means photo assignments. And I want to say this really quickly on a personal note. This is probably my favorite video that I've ever put together. And I'll talk about that a little bit after we look at some of your work. It was absolutely outstanding this week. So let's go ahead and check out your work from photo assignment number 13 on self portraits.
The work this week is outstanding. And on a personal note, I mentioned this earlier, this was a very special video for me to put together, mainly because when I make these videos, I'm making them for you who are an audience and I'm sitting here talking to a camera and I don't see anybody. You guys see me, but it's kind of a solitary thing on my end. So being able to put images with usernames and faces together was a really special thing for me. It was weird. I didn't really realize that until I got into it. It was really cool. Some of you guys I know in real life, some of you guys I know online, and some guys I just know you by username because you participate in this often. It was really cool and I just want to thank you guys for that because that made it really special to me. I think one of the reasons though that the work was so good this week is this. Um, I think it was the subject matter. And it's interesting because you know I give you guys a concept sometimes or I give you a specific technique. So like when we did like low angle or high angle shooting, that's a very specific technique. And so you know you see kind of a theme of the way people approach that. And then some of the other things that I've done more like this one were self-portraits well, that's open completely to your interpretation. And the work was much more conceptual than it normally is. And I think a lot of that has to do with the subject. It's one thing to take a concept and interpret that, but when the concept or the subject is yourself, it's really interesting the way that people chose to express that. Some people chose to represent themselves in a very classical portrait style, whereas others chose to completely abstract it, in some cases even remove themselves from the image. However, it's still communicating something about who they are as a person. And I think that's what's really interesting. And I think that conceptual thinking, I mean, this this is really what I've been going for the entire time with photo assignments. When you think of like the idea of photo assignments, I mean, in many ways it sounds like a class and I don't want it to be that. I want it to be something where yes, we're improving, but we're having fun and we're seeing this on a different level. And what that comes down to in the end, every time is understanding how to communicate visually. That is the most important thing of all of this. There's something you're saying with the camera. And for me anyway, and you know, I come from more of the art side of photography, that there's nothing more special than that. If you can learn how to communicate with images, Images, uh, that's a very powerful thing and I'm starting to see that with you guys and we've done 13 of these now so I think for those of you who participate regularly I think you're improving in that area and that whole idea of thinking conceptually and being able to communicate is starting to come out I think that mixed with the subject matter this time kind of made it all come together and anyway these are really special the other thing that's interesting and I'll give you a little behind the scenes here when I do these um, I download everything and I put it all in a folder and then I open Adobe Bridge and I don't just throw them in a random order and put them out. I try to rearrange those and group them and put them in an order that has a flow to it and makes sense and it's more palatable to watch as a slideshow. And it's interesting to me this time, uh, particular, it usually happens, but this time it really did, where people start, you start to see these sub-genres of whatever it is that we're doing emerge. And I know you guys aren't speaking to one another on a mass scale, but it's interesting to see the groupings of how people start to do similar types of things. So for instance, I mentioned the more traditional style portraits and there was a lot of those were submitted, some really outstanding stuff. There was another whole approach where people were doing things with surveillance cameras that I thought was cool. Uh, there were people who chose to go for the environment. Um, the most interesting one, and I can't explain this, but I thought it was really cool. I mean, obviously reflections are going to be a big deal and use of mirror for a self-portrait, especially for a photographer. Um, for those of us that love Saul Lighter, there was a lot of stuff kind of in that street kind of style, which was awesome. But the most interesting thing for me that came up was this use of spherical elements or rounded off shapes. And this was kind of predominant through a lot of images, not only just through mirrors, but maybe elements in the composition. Anyway, it's really interesting to see that. And it's kind of a collective psychology that we're not communicating with each other on this, but that ends up what's being submitted. Anyway, it was outstanding work this week. There were some images with humor introduced to them. Uh, there was even kind of some scary stuff. I guess we're right around Halloween in the United States, so you're gonna see that as well. But anyway, I am really proud of you guys this week. This was a very special video to make, and I really felt felt like it was kind of a connection with both of us. I mean, not only am I connecting with you guys through photography and seeing your work, but also seeing your faces was really special to me. So if you are new to photo assignments and you don't know what we're talking about, we do these typically every Monday and I will give you a theme and next week I will give you your next theme on Monday. And then the following week after you've had a chance to shoot, I kind of pick out some of the best and I share those with you guys. And if you want to learn more, I've got a playlist on photo assignments as well as a frequently asked questions if you want to know how to submit. There's always a lot of confusion on that. We essentially use social media. Media. But anyway, that's it for today. Until the next video, I will see you guys then. Later.